Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, guys. How's it going? Good. Good. Do you have a good day? Yes. Are you excited? Are you excited about Friday? Yes, it's Friday, Friday and the body. The body knows oh, it. No, body knows it. The body knows it. Uh -huh. I don't. Right. I don't because tomorrow I have to work. Ah, oh, come on, Blanca. You have to be more positive. Yeah, teacher, it's Friday, so yeah, the, it's just one more day work of work. No, I'm happy when it's Saturday. I love Saturdays. And, but Friday, and Friday, Friday, Friday is like a mini Saturday for you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if you say it like that, it's positive, right? Like Friday, a, Friday a mini Saturday. Doesn't, doesn't taste like Friday for me. <laughs> okay, okay. It feels like I don't know. We have a new student uh, today. Thursday is Brenda. Really? Yes, she looks different today. I think it's because she's <laughs> now wearing glasses. Uh, no, yeah, that's true. I have them here. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yeah, it's, it's interesting to see how uh, some people change a lot when they are wearing or not wearing glasses. Yeah, it's not, but it's not like me, it's, it's, it's not like Superman, right? Like it's very obvious that it's Superman, but he, mm -hmm. people people don't recognize him with the glasses, supposedly, right? Uh -huh, that's true. But for <laughs> me, it's not to um, because I have a problem. It's just because I use too much computer, so so it's to protect your eyes. Uh huh, like that. Okay. Uh, why do you use computers so much? Because what do you do? It's, I am a programmer. Okay, that's new for me. That's cool. <laughs> there, are no, yeah. there are not so many women in, in that area. That's that's something that uh, where I work, we are trying well, we're Amazing. teaching we're teaching students how to program and um, and we expect that a lot of these girls uh, continue studying something related to that. So hopefully mm. there will be a new generation of uh, girls programming in the near future. Hopefully. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I hope so also. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's okay, true. Okay, so you are an inspiration for others. That's great. <laughs> well. <laughs> How Jeez. long have you been a programmer? Um, well, if you want to take in account since I started, since mm -hmm. 2006. Really? Wow. That was my first year at the university. <laughs> okay. That was also my first year of university. That's why. So we're almost the same age. How old are you? Yes. <laughs> 33? Mm, no, 36. He's like, <laughs> oh, straight to my, to my heart. No, I'm not 36. <laughs> uh, I look 34. Like, I look like 35. Yeah, I know. Without my beer, it's like three years less, but uh, <laughs> yeah, but I like true. but I like it, so I'm not changing it. Um, mm -hmm. no, I'm 33, almost 34. That's that's oh my that's my God. age. Yeah. Which is your 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 uh month? Uh September. In which month did you you're younger than, than my husband. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, September is my month. September 87. September 1987, that's right. Okay. You too? No, December 87. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you were Valentine's gift. I was a Christmas gift. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> now we're going to continue uh, well uh, i think it was christmas but anyway that's another story um let me see well i'm excited because we're finishing another week and that means that we have been working 
that we have been learning, that we have been sharing. And obviously that's uh, motivation, right? So um, and yes, of course, everybody loves the weekend for different reasons, but especially because it's an opportunity, right? To do other things that you don't do during the week and you can rest a little bit more and you get some energy for the next week and we go like that, right? It's part of our, of the things that we need, right? Time for, to rest, time to sleep, time to enjoy, time for ourselves and the people that we love. So um, we're going to get started, okay? Is it hot where you are? Because over here is really hot. Today was very hard, hot. Yeah, it, well, I live in San Miguel, so you, you can imagine. Oh uh, my God, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's very hot. cold here in San Salvador. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, uh, well, Ruth, that about the question that you asked, somebody mentioned yesterday that the youngest one in this group is probably Merlin. They said that she was like 21 or 22. So, so that's probably. And then they said that Blanca, I think, or and Diana, no, Flora and Diana were the same age, like 27. So they are the second youngest, I think, I'm not sure. Um, but talking about ages, I know it's not the best topic in the world for, <laughs> for some people, so we're going to skip it. Um, let me check. So we're going to get started. Uh, today we're going to be doing different activities as usual, but especially because it's Friday, right? So um, I have tried, right, to to think of different things that you might enjoy doing or talking about. And um, let me check. So we're going to uh, finish the unit number two. That's something important because we're not going to talk about food anymore. So you're not going to get hungry or you're not going to get cravings uh, at 10 p.m. or 9 p.m. Um, and We'll start with a new topic. So that's new things to learn. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, I am going to share with you the a link right now so that you can talk with your partners. I'm just going to take the attendance first and then we're going to start with the conversation. So, uh, let me check. Ana Beatriz, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Excellent. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, let me see. Yeah. Okay, Ana Elizabeth. I think I'm going to use the last names because I haven't practiced them. So Elizabeth Rios is not here, Beatriz Valencia, yes. Uh, Mariela Maravilla. Present. Okay, uh, Brenda Sainz. I'm here. Carla Rodriguez. I'm here, teacher. Very good. Uh, Hi, good, evening. good evening, Diana Reyes. Present. Flor Ramirez. I'm here. Francisco Villacorta. Present. Good. Laura Celeda. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I'm driving now. <laughs> okay. Drive safely, Thank please, you. and be careful with Bye. the police. Okay. Got Thank it. Uh, <laughs> Harvin Guevara. Not here yet. Okay. Let's go on. Uh, Jennifer Lopez. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Juan Jose Avalos. I'm good. Uh, cool. Karen Pineda. Not here yet. Uh, let's go on with Maritza Castellon. Not here yet. Merlin Ventura. 
Miguel Centeno. Rolando Quintanilla. Ruth Medrano. Okay, she's writing through the chat. Uh, Suleima Mendez. Then we have uh, Janari Cortez. I'm here. Nice. Jacqueline Morales. I'm here. Blanca Navarro. I'm here. Freddy's Cortez. Freddy's. Okay, let's go on. Okay, yeah, I, I knew that you were there. I just was just waiting for you to answer. Uh, okay, so we're going to get started. And uh, as I told you, right, we're going to start speaking as uh, we usually do it. So uh, Harbin is joining us right now. That's great. And okay, just Harbin. So I'm going to check that out. Perfect. So for the, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms and you are going to discuss uh, similar to the way that we did it the last time. You are going to discuss and ask as many questions as you can, okay? I will share the link with you through the chat right now. So you can um, discuss with your partners. Okay, welcome Maritza. I just saw you right now. Okay, I think I need glasses for my eyes too. Okay, probably after after these classes I will need it. I will need them. Okay, let's go on. Um, who else? Who else is here? Rolando is coming. Okay, perfect. So everybody's coming to the party. Hello, teacher. Hello. Just driving. I driving okay. right now. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're going to wait for you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so please uh, copy the link in the chat so, or open it, right? Um, so today we're going to travel. Now that the weekend is coming, you can talk about that. So we're going to, Floor is an expert. So you, if you are in Floor's group, you can ask her any question about it. Hey, Karen, welcome. Right on time for the, for the this conversations. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hi, I'm in time. Yes. Uh, let me check. Sometimes, sometimes it's better late than never. Okay, so uh, let's see. We have 19 people, so I'm going to create only, um, I would say, nine. Yeah. No, eight. Okay, so I'm going to create just eight breakout rooms. Uh, Blanca, Glenda, Jackie, Mariela, Diana, Juan Jose, Carla, you will practice with, uh, let me check. Okay, uh, Ruth, can you please let me know if you can, if your microphone works or if you can use it? Uh, Francisco, Karen, Flor, Maritza, uh, Beatriz, Jennifer, Brenda is alone. So I'm going to move Brenda to the breakout room. Number three. Okay, Freddy, uh, well, Rolando is driving, so it's not possible. Who else was driving? La I think it was Laura, right? Uh, so I'm going to move you to the breakout room. Number two, three, four. Okay, perfect. So. Ready, set, and you will have exactly five minutes. Uh, there are not many people, so five to six minutes will be enough, okay, for you to share your opinions. So, wait a second, I'm just going to make one modification and we will be ready to go. Okay, now, see you in a moment.
Please accept the invitation to join the breakout room. I will see you soon. I remember. Oh, so, teacher, Hello? it's only Francisco and me, or Flor? Uh, if only we... you two. Ah, only... okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. And what we are have... we talking about? Did you copy the link? No. Ah. I, I can share the, 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 the. Wait a second. The list. This. Ah, okay. Yeah, just in case, I, I will I will leave the link over here so you can check it out. Okay. Okay. So you want to ask before or? One and one. I think it's better that you ask oh, okay. one and one. Yeah, one and oh, one. Okay, okay. Uh, for example, have you ever been aboard? Abroad. Abroad? Abroad. Yes. Abroad. Abroad. Yes, yeah. many times. I love travel. You love okay. traveling? Yes. Okay. Welcome so. to the club. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about you? Have you ever been abroad? Mm. I don't know how you say. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I have been I, there about, I, there. I have been there about 10 years ago. Oh, really? Did yes. you visit someone? No, my my husband and I, like, we enjoy uh, travel somewhere. We ah. did, we don't have, we, we, we don't have plans. And we always uh, drive the car and visit sometimes that we never visit. Have for you example, ever visited? Last, yes, for example, last Saturday, I visit Arcatao. You visited Arcatao? Yes, I visited Arcatao. That Where was in Chalatenango, you said, right? Yes, I said uh, that. I remember. Yeah. Blanca's father born there. Was born there? Wow. Yes. He told me. She, she told you that. That's yeah. that's a small small world, right? It's a small yeah. world. Yeah. Question, uh, uh, which is the question I can read in. Please, what country um, do you most want to visit? Okay. Um I am um, have uh, in my case I have visited uh, several countries. Um, people from culture, people from India, mm -hmm. people from Germany, uh, people from Ecuador, mm -hmm. and that's a very interesting people. The cool different culture. It, that, mm -hmm. that was a good trip. Okay. okay. It's my turn. Um, have you ever have you ever been in a difficult situation while traveling? Uh, yeah, there was one time in which we were uh, driving in one street, and because there was no uh, how do you say um, señales de tráfico? Traffic sign. 
yeah, traffic signs there on the street. So we didn't know that the street was just going to one side. So we were going just one, one way. <laughs> one way, yes, yeah, we yeah. were going like that. And and the person who was driving uh, tried to escape from the police. And then the police start to use the, um, how do you say the thing that they use like this? The whistle? Well, Aha, uh -huh, the whistle. And then uh, <laughs> all the people stop to, to, to touch the um, Clarkson. I don't know how to say that in English. That would be the honk. Wait, wait a second. I'm going. There's an expression for that. I will, I will, I will share it with you. Uh, where is it? Wait. That's the... No, how do you say that in Spanish? Like, sonar, no, tocar el, el claxon. Como sirena. Honk the horn. That's a, that's expression. Honk the horn. I will write it in the chat. Honk Can the you horn. Repeat, teacher, please? Honk the horn. Honk the horn. Yeah, honk the horn. Okay. Uh-huh, so people started doing that. That's what you said. Honk the horn, that's... I think Brenda lost connection, so I'm going to send her back here. Yeah, you are in the room number three, right? So here we go. Yes. Okay, perfect. She's coming, she's coming. I'm with me. <laughs> I love when exactly. I do things alone. And it, alone. it will, and that will be exciting because I don't know, I have to take an, an adventure <laughs> alone. I don't, I don't alone. know. <laughs> That's I would a good like to experience. Do. I would like to do. I would like to a brand along to a South America country. For example, in Peru or Colombia. Yeah, really beautiful. It, okay. It, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, could you live in another country for the rest of your life? Oh my God, yes. <laughs> Why? <a> question. <laughs> because, well, my country is beautiful and my travel on Tuesday, it proved that, but I would love to live in, in England or... England. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or I don't know, Norway? Norway. I love Norway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that, that country. <laughs> it's amazing. It's so beautiful. It's full of nature. That's what I love. In my oh, case, that's for example, I don't, I don't like to, to live in another country, but I would like to spend a lot of time notice about Chile. Mm -hmm. because Chile is a big country and mm -hmm. he has a different culture in the same country and I would like to know everything about it. Oh. Another important fact about Chile is that, and it's attractive to me, is that they have, uh, or the country has four seasons. Yeah, that would be amazing. Experience that four seasons. I I, I would yes. love that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this um, Harbin, do you like to read the second the, the next question? Whatever or, I want. I think that yes. Had you ever been on an airplane? No, no, and I never been in an airplane. Do you, do you like to try? 
Excuse me? Yeah, I Do will like love to live to the experience. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Don't be nervous yes, about course. it. It's not a little bit square for you? People say mm. that it feels like a roller coaster when you, <laughs> well, when the airplane, uh, I don't know how to say that. What? Right, <laughs> something like that. Lens? Uh, uh, ah. Lens. Uh, People no, say no. that it when feels the airplane, like a roller coaster. Ah, okay. When the airplane takes off. Takes off if when it, mm -hmm. it goes it up. Off. When it goes down is land. Land. Oh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Land. Land. And take off. Mm -hmm. take or depart. Off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, depart. That that's one of the words that I that I heard before. Okay. People say that my vacation actually is on December. But the company give the date, give you the dates, a specific yeah, date. Yeah. Um, let me see. The last two weeks. The last two weeks. Yeah, the last two weeks on the month. But that is for sure every year. Every year. Uh... I'm not able to change the date. Mm -hmm. But but it's a good day. Yeah. But the other your it's your good for me because they I get the vacations, I get the bonus, so I make some good amount of money. Mm -hmm. And where do you work? I'm a plumber. You are a plumber fixing pipes. Fixing pipes. You can see the picture. Ah, okay. And you work near to your house. Yeah. <laughs> it's like one block away from my house. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, next question. Next question. Can I get a discount on a trip? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, sometimes our promotion. She got a flying ticket for 140 bucks, I think she said. The teacher is here, yes? Yeah. <laughs> here. That's why I'm telling her if I could get a discount. <laughs> All right, so we're back. Uh, the rest of your classrooms are coming soon. I gave I gave you a little bit more time because I, I saw that everybody was talking. So uh, that's important, right? That you use the language. That is one of the most important things. Okay. Uh, Let me see. Okay, perfect. So the majority of you are here. Now we're going to, yeah, you see, they didn't want to come back. <laughs> so <laughs> that's a good sign. That's a good sign. So the conversation was very, very good. Okay, so um, question. What was one of the, or which was one of the favorite questions that you had from the list? Which question caught your attention or you really like discussing or answering? I think Diana wants to say something. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
my favorite question was if I prefer to travel with company or alone. Okay, and what do you say? With company. You better say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, <Okay>. but it's real. <laughs> it's true, okay, yeah. Yeah, uh, experience is amazing. Who likes traveling alone? Or who had a good experience yeah. traveling alone? Ready? I prefer to travel alone. Why? I don't I don't like nobody bothering me. Telling you, ah, I'm tired. Let's go. It's uh, this yeah. is boring. Okay, okay. Or let's go to this place. Let's go to that place. Okay, okay. I enjoy the trip. That's one point. That's one point. Uh Blanca too. Okay, who else? I got, I'm going to travel. By I, yourself. No, I wanna I wanna travel. I, I want to travel alone, but I mm. never do it because always are always are someone to want to. <laughs> so you have to do me. it, you have to you have to do it in a secret way, right? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, I have in, to do it. On, on the last vacation, for example, I went all the way to Awa Japan, just traveling by bus by myself. Oh, uh, I was like, that, I want to do this nice. at least once in my life. So I did it. It was really nice. I went to this place that I I had never visited before. It's Termales de Santa Teresa. It was so relaxing, as you have no idea. You went along to the Termales yes. Santa Teresa. Yes. Oh my God. And I made well, some friends. So that was cool. That was cool. Well, the nice. last Tuesday that I went to Hayake, Hayake and Takakoyo, I went alone. Okay. And it was good. It was good. But I want to travel to another country. Uh, yeah, another, in another country. Mm hmm. I yeah, have traveled. One, I yeah. traveled to Los Cayos Cochinos in Honduras uh -huh. <laughs> by car, but not a, by a car, by a band. Ah. Like, yeah, with another group of person that I don't know, but with my husband. And I saw two people uh, individually, right? Uh -huh. uh, that were alone and I was like, why they are traveling alone? It's weird. And, but they make friends and it was really nice. And I said, oh my God, I need to try this. Yeah. <laughs> that is the point to travel alone. Because but, I'm not sure, but I'm not sure if it's possible to do that when you're married. I don't think it's No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> it's possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I possible. told that when I was single. <laughs> uh -huh, yeah. Uh, Today is impossible. Yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> okay. Well, so uh, maybe one day he goes to the U.S. and you are alone and you want to travel. You can do that. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. Now, uh, we're going to move on. Okay. Uh, quickly. Just uh, one more question. Okay. What is uh, your favorite place in El Salvador? Your favorite tourist place in El Salvador? Okay, think about it and uh, you can write it in the chat or you can say it on the microphone. Okay. I love the Chalatenango. Chalate but in general. No, Not a specific place. I love place. The, the, highest Catao, Blanca. Place, the highest place in El Chalatenango. Pital. No, Arcatao. Arcatao, no. Yeah. El Pital and it's a, Just one. And there, there is a place called uh -huh. Las Pilas. Las Pilas. Okay. Yeah. I heard about that place, yeah. Uh, okay, somebody else I, wants to share? I need to look for it. It's really cold. Yeah. I, I, Karen? I love beach, no matter which one. Any beach. I can go well, to the beach. If, if you want to visit some of the most beautiful ones, you have to come to the Oriente, right? To the eastern part of El Salvador. I have been in, in Cuco and it's very nice. Really nice. There are more. There are some that are more beautiful than Cuco. I can recommend you some. Really? Okay. Yes, there are we some private talk, private dishes, and they're us. really good. Later. <laughs> uh, well, there, there is one that is called Miraflores that is beautiful. Another one that is called Punta Mango is really yeah. beautiful. Uh, Punta Mango sure yeah. is very nice. Yeah, uh, La Ventanita. I, 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 I think I that's went another one. to so. to to 
Las flores, no. Las In Hawaii flores. also. Mira flores. Uh -huh. Mira flores. I went yeah. to Mira flores once. Yeah, so there are there are some. Okay. <laughs> now let's thank you for the uh, recommendation. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. I can be in anybody's tour guide if you if you need any advice in, in Oriente or right, in the eastern area. Because I have been to Usulutan, Morazan, La Union, San Miguel, obviously. So yes, I love traveling. But let's listen to Francisco. What is your place? Uh, my favorite place in El Salvador uh, is uh, El Titan. Um, in one occasion, I I visited the Veraneras. Mm, okay. Uh, the Veraneras is uh, It's in Sonsonate, I think. Yes, yes, it's in Sonsonate. It is beautiful. It's near to house. the. It's near to the. How do you say Salinitas? The Cameron. The Cameron. Yes, the uh, Cameron. It's near the Cameron. Okay. Yes. Got it. In Los Cobanos too. Two, two place. I want to go to yeah. Los Cobanos. Mm -hmm. I want to it's go. It's a there. nice place. Yeah, especially when there are whales, right, passing by the whales. So let's go on. Uh, Flor. Sure. When when you when you want to to buy um, a pe, a day pass a day pass in La Veraneras or in the Cameron or in uh -huh. other hotels you can call me because I sell them. Okay, okay. so a little a little a little commercial, right? So if okay. you want to travel, you can contact her. I, I know to, that you have to offer yeah, for know. everyone. Okay, no, we no, need for to this call. Me. We are planning a, a traveling route in my and in my work teacher. In group, we can we can get a discount. Ah, okay. okay. What? <laughs> if you you say hi in the group. The Share uh, your phone. After this commercial that teacher, is... you can continue. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. I appreciate it. That was for free, okay? There, she's not paying for that. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Somebody else wants to share their favorite place through the chat or through the microphone? Uh, nope. Okay, let's move on. Uh, let's see. Well, if you ask me, uh, one of my favorite ones, it's Berlin in Usulutan. Uh, there are some places there that I love. Uh, so yeah, definitely I like the mountain more than the beach. I, I have to say that. Um, I don't know, it's more peaceful. That's the reason why. Now we're going to go on and I'm going to share with you the screen to the next activity. Let me see if it works. Okay, I'm going to share a link with, um, with one of you guys, so you can tell me if you can join. I'm trying to use this, but I'm not sure if it works with a lot of people. So um, let me check. Okay, so Brenda, I will send you the link and you tell me if it works. Let me check. If it works, I will send it to the chat, through the chat to everybody. Okay, so. I have tried it, but uh, with a small group. I'm not sure if it works with a big group, but I want to try it now. So um, open it and tell me what you see. Oh my God, it's a virus. No, it's not a virus. <laughs> it's not a virus. Uh, Brenda? I think it will request you to um, probably careful, Brenda. Please to uh, add yeah, your name it or works. something. <laughs> what do you see? Uh, it's like a page to play something scribbling. I don't know. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Okay. So, do you see me? No. Are you the only one? Yeah. Okay, so it's not working the way I thought. <laughs> okay, uh, so I will 
probably try it out later because it, yeah, apparently it doesn't work with uh, a lot of people. So we're going to move on. And right now I'm going to share with you what we didn't finish yesterday. Do you remember what we did yesterday? Mm. Mm. We did checklist. We practice with checklists, yes. What was the topic from yesterday? Oh, evaluating procedures. Procedures. evaluating oh. procedures that's correct that's correct so uh, evaluating procedures so we i'm going to i'm not sure if you can see the screen right now but i'm sharing it so uh, evaluating procedures so we were uh, doing the checklist we had a discussion right about if there was a quality department and the importance right if they monitor your work we talk about famous people uh, we finish the trivia uh we finish with the activity of would be would be better ex uh, sharing the top three right of the procedures in a restaurant uh manual and uh right now we're going to finish with the pair work so uh, one volunteer. Thank you, Laura. Question number one. Exercise number three. Can you help me read? I think Laura is not able to use the microphone. Maybe she's still driving. Uh, Jackie? And then okay. Jennifer. Ours? Okay. Mm -hmm. Are satis satisfaction surveys a good way to make sure procedures are followed followed in the restaurant? Okay, our satisfaction service a good way to make sure procedures are followed in a restaurant. Yes, no, why? Okay, and then the question number two, Jennifer. Do you consider placing poster about procedures in a strategic place will help employees follow those procedures? Okay, so probably the word that I will have to put a little bit more emphasis for everybody is strategic. Okay, strategic. So that's, uh, do you consider the place, placing posters, right, about procedures in strategic places will help employees follow this, those procedures? For example, in a restaurant, right? Uh, that they say, uh, wash all the dishes as soon as you finish using them or, uh, or, be careful not to overcook the French fries, okay? Or just five minutes to serve the, I mean, to serve the tables, etc. So do you consider that that's a good strategy uh, in restaurants? Speaking of restaurants, right? Having posters with indications of the procedures, how to do this and this and this and that, okay? So those are the two questions that you're going to discuss. And for this, you will do it in purse, okay? So I'm going to create the new breakout rooms and you are going to express your opinions. Uh, please make sure to give complete answers. If you say the question number one, yes, they are, for example, why? Give a reason it, or give an example why you think the satisfaction surveys are good in the restaurants. Um, and do you consider that placing posters is a, is a good procedure, is a good strategy? Yes, no, why? Okay, so I love the question why, because that makes you think, okay, how to explain something. And now, I already created the breakout rooms. And I just, I'm going to check if everybody can use the microphone quickly. So Laura, I'm not sure if she can use the microphone. Uh, Ruth, are you able to use the microphone now? Yes, in this moment, yes. Okay, perfect. So let me check who else. Okay, so everybody, Rolando, are you back? Are you home? Yeah, I'm home. Okay, perfect. So Rolando is back. So you were the DJ for the, for today's party, so I had to wait for you. I was making some time. <laughs> okay. okay, so let's go to the breakout rooms. For this discussion, you will just have uh, three minutes, guys. So it's something very straight to the point. Give your opinion, the next person, and that's it. Okay, here we go.
Okay, Brenda and Janari, you get the invitation. Okay, teacher. I have problem with my internet, teacher. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, okay, don't worry. So I'm going to send you the invitation one more time. Send me, please. Okay, now. Uh, the page is low, my internet. Yeah, that's an issue. Have you uh, called the company or sent a report? And uh, the problem is the oh, um, when uh, um, I'm, I'm staying in a new house and it's a project, then uh, we don't have uh, uh, signal here. Um, because it's a new project in the, uh -huh. I don't know if you if you if you know about Marsella you know Marsella mm, not really is is uh, from San Juan Pico it's like San Juan Pico near near Colón between Colón and San Juan Pico but it's San Juan Pico Mm, okay. I don't know if you if you listen um, Versailles, Ciudad Versailles. Yeah, Versailles. Yeah, I've heard about that. No, I think I, ah, I heard about okay. it. Yeah. It's near Ciudad Versailles. Ah, it's near okay. Ciudad Versailles. Yes, but it's a new project, and we don't have signal about uh, internet and just uh, uh, satellite. satellite. A signal. Satellite. Uh -huh. uh, satellite. No uh -huh. Satellite. Thank you. Satellite. What? Yes. So we, it's for that reason that we have that problem. Mm -hmm. I understand. Yes. Yes, teacher. But I have the 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 the, the breakout room. Okay. So um, we, wait, well, just tell me the for the first question. Uh, our, our satisfaction survey is a good way to, to evaluate the restaurant's procedures. Yes. Why? Yes, uh, uh, in a restaurant, uh, someday uh, 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 pass me uh, some evaluation about mm -hmm. the restaurant and the personal attendance and about if if the if the um, if the if the locator is clean uh all about 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 that uh, ask me and the quality uh, ask me about the quality and i don't know i, I don't remember and normally is in mcdonald's and dennis mm -hmm. and and where is ah Tony Romas too? Okay, Plus, got it. Uh, 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 um, uh, yes. So, do you think that um, having posters in different places uh, for the employees to check the procedures is a good strategy? Oh, for the thing. Can you repeat the, the, the question? Question number two. Uh, if you think that is a good idea to place oh. posters for the procedures. Um, you didn't check this and the evaluation procedure. Um, I think that is uh, is very uh, important and it's, uh, effective uh, because it, if if the locator is not very clean, mm -hmm. uh, the personal uh, it will be do better. Uh, and the the the, uh, the but the um, locator is very clean, and the attendant uh, with the 
with the personal in general uh, if if we if we say um uh, my how can i say mr waiter waiter right? waiter waiter yeah weather let me thank you the weather uh, don't attend me good uh, or it's not it not was it wasn't um inefficient uh, the, uh, about the list uh, mm -hmm. if 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 the attendant is in the list if we say that uh, that is not it, it, it wasn't good and the manager, maybe, and the man manager uh, uh, will uh, is going to um, going to do the meet meet meeting about how can I do for mejorar for to improve the, the procedures to improve the procedures. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, thank you. To improve, to improve. Yes, yes. Please. Okay, got it. Yes. Okay. Okay, so uh, I'm going to ask two volunteers to share the answers uh, with the rest of the class. So uh, who would like to answer the first question? Our satisfaction uh, procedures, a good way to, um, let's say, to evaluate the procedure to evaluate the procedures in the restaurant, the satisfaction surveys, are they a good strategy? Karen, please. Yes, this kind of survey are um, really help us, uh, helpful, but always if the information goes to the right people, because if this information done, don't arrive to the, manager or the owners, maybe the employees will not uh, do anything to improve the procedures or or improve the service. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's that's a really good point. And I think that the majority of us or probably everybody agrees, right? That when you know the opinion of the customers, you, you have the chance to improve, right? And, and, be even better than you are. So uh, as they say, right? Sometimes you can be, you can have the perfect restaurant, but if you don't uh, have a good service or if some, one procedure is not done well, then you can lose uh, customers. Okay. So, um, well, we already talked about that before. Now the second question was about the posters. Place in strategic places. Do you think it's a good one? Yes or no? I don't think so. <laughs> Why not? Tell us, please. Um, I, I think that is um, uh, placing poster. Uh, it depends it depend the kind of poster. Uh, because our um, sign for the um, client, for example, the uh, uh, it's not called. I think that is better than training, training to the waiters or the employees. But placing poster, uh, I, I think that not is correct. It's not correct. Okay, good. So. Um... We're going to go on, okay? Those are the last two questions that we had from yesterday's class. And uh, as you can see, there are some videos on the, on the well, at the bottom of the, of the, of the slide that you can watch uh, or you can read. One is about food safety procedures and checklists, and another one is occupational safety and health administration, okay? How to handle the food and the personal hygiene. Now with the COVID, I think that everybody's paying attention to that. But imagine before this, this pandemic, we didn't think about like, okay, the, the, the chef is not wearing a mask. The chef is, I mean, is contaminating the food. The waiter is contaminating the food. 
but now with this, I think that we are more, um, probably more hygienic, I would say. We are more careful about the hygiene of the food. So that's a good thing about, about this situation, right? So um, let's move on. Now, I while you were doing that and I was talking to Janari, I was trying to find a plan B for, because I couldn't share with you the, the previous one. So right here, I have this and I have a link. What do you see on the screen right now? Hello? The two the questions, question. Tishin. Are the satisfaction or by and do you consider placing poster? Okay, okay, okay. So you don't see what I'm seeing. <laughs> now, uh, but I want you to see it. So let me share with you the link to the chat. But for some reason, I cannot see the chat. Okay, maybe now. I'm going to stop sharing and here it is. So the I need you to- is revealed. Yeah, I think it's like Friday, forget about, about sharing screen, just give the class and forget about it. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to uh, share with you. I think it's this one, no, it's not this one. Can you please click on this link that I'm sharing through the chat and tell me if you can access? Our website. It says, welcome to Drawasarius. Mm -hmm. Room 45. A nickname? Uh huh. Play game. Please enter the password to join. Okay, the password is English with capital letters. Capital letters, all mayuscula, English. 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 Join. Ah. So I see Diana, Ruth, Floridalma. Oh my God, everyone is coming. Excellent. So bingo. What is this about? Oh my God. This is Pictionary. So Yay, I love Pictionary. I love I can join. Why not? Uh, okay. I will. I I'm write ready. English. No, English is the password to enter the room. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 what I do, but I I don't know. Can you open the link take, again, maybe? It could take me wrong. Okay, I'm going to write in the in the chat room. In the chat. Wait, mm -hmm. this is correct. I have a mistake. <laughs> you made a I mistake. English. <laughs> okay, don't worry about that. <laughs> don't worry if you if you wrote English as a nickname. That's okay. The most important <laughs> is that you show your One, drawing two, skills. Three, we have four okay. English. In the chat, I write. I, I wrote the word that I put in the password, mm -hmm. and I don't know if it is from or what or what. Okay, right now we have 13 players. And we are 18. Mm -hmm. So we need I five more cry. people. I'm going to cry. <laughs> try it again. Yeah. Okay. I can teach her too. You can either? Yes, I can either. The people mm. who that as a name English, they have to yeah. click ready to be click, able. To... Click ready, uh-huh, okay, click ready. So we have 15 I'm people. And a smiling digger. Guys, click, click ready. Okay, uh, then I click sobre la palabra ready. Okay, Ana Beatriz. Brenda, have I, to, uh -huh. have I to say my own name? English. No, not? you don't have to say it. You don't have to say it. No. Okay. 
Okay, so we are uh, 14, apparently. Are you ready? Good. Perfect. So, uh, 15 players. Only one English. It's not ready. Only one English is not ready. Who is? Um, it's too much of my name. Somebody, I think, I think it's, it's ready. Ready, yes. Perfect. Yeah. Eight, seven, six, Eight, five. five. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Diana, Diana is choosing uh, a word. Uh -huh. Diana. Oh, I have two. Okay. You have to choose one and draw it. Oh my God, I'm bad at drawing. I have a problem. But it's counting again. Yeah, now it's the next person, apparently. So everybody has to choose one word. Everybody has to choose one word. Mm. Uh, uh. So we continue with jar. That will be, that will be Harbin, I think. But I didn't choose it. Where are the words that, will, that we have to choose? They will show you the three words, and you choose one. Wait a second. So I can see the words. English is drawing. English too. Um, who is English too? <laughs> Me. Okay, okay, okay. So, what is that? Um, is that a, is that rabbit. a rabbit? A rabbit. A rabbit. Yes. Cat. It's a cat. Yes, it's rabbit. It's a rabbit. Rabbit. How do you say right. liebre? <laughs> ah, you have to guess right. in chat, in the chat, you have to write it down. Okay, rabbit. Uh, rabbit. Okay, so in the chat, you write down what you think it is. Okay, good. What chat? Sorry. There is a chat at the, at the bottom. There is guess in chat here. I'm going to show you. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah. Rabbit. Uh, That's right. How do you say liebre? Hair. Okay. That's correct. So you said you guessed the word. Uh huh. You guessed the word, so you get points. Now Mariela is drawing. Okay, Mariela. Okay. Show your talent. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Um... Okay. Oh my God. Is that an, an alien? No. Oh, an happy face. Oh, oh Jeff. Right, write it in the chat. Okay, you get the points when you write it in the chat. Okay. Yeah. A lot of people guess this one. <laughs> Good. So you have around, okay, 30 seconds more. So that was easy. Uh, Mariela, I don't know if you can click on something like ready or finish or Top something uh -huh. no i don't know no you don't see any option okay so we have to wait for the time to be over and we're going to have two more people okay doing it okay and then we take the attendance and we do two more seven six five four three two one zero okay zero time's up next Who's next? Who's next? Who is here? What? <laughs> English three is choosing English a word. Ah. Uh -huh. Smiley D girl is choosing a word. Okay. Smiley D girl. Who is a smiley D girl? 
I don't, I don't know. know. Uh, that's maybe. you, Diana, maybe. I'm no. a smiley different. <laughs> I, I told you that, that I was. Ah, so Blanca, you're drawing now. Okay. And, uh, I know that. Mm. Uh, I'm fine. Oh, Christmas tree. The Christmas tree? Ah, Christmas tree. Yeah. Oh, uh, if you guess at the first. You got you get more points. points. Yeah. yeah. Christmas tree. Ho, 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 ho. Okay. Ho, ho, ho. Excellent. Oh my <laughs> what? You can color it? That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Color. That was, that was fun. I don't know. <laughs> okay, Teacher, so we go with the next we one. If we were in the classroom, we cannot practice this exercise. We could, we could do it on the board, actually. I, that's oh, the yes. way that I do it. I do it on yeah. the board and with that's the marker. Right. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, Brenda yeah, is drawing. Right. Pay attention now. Oh my God. Um, this is going to, to draw something like. Oh my god, what? Oh my god, dog. Is a dog? <laughs> a dog? Uh, maybe. Uh, it's a submarine. Uh... Oh, <laughs> trumpet. Yes! <laughs> my god! <laughs> she oh has my a god. lot of imagination. <laughs> I got the 50 points. <laughs> Okay, yeah. that's a trumpet. Yeah, okay, so I love my <laughs> in the meantime, I no, that was really good. I, it would have been difficult yeah. for me. So, uh, Beatrice, are you there? Yes. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. So you continue seeing <laughs> over there. Uh, Elizabeth is not here, so we continue with Mariela, Brenda. Are you there? Yes, Carla. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to lose the points. No. Okay, Carla is there. Diana? Present. Floor? I'm here. Francisco? I'm here, teacher. Laura? <laughs> Okay, uh, we continue with Harvin. Present teacher. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Good. Juan Jose. Rims. I'm here. Karen. You continue playing, but say present. <laughs> okay, so Karen is there. Uh, Maritza. I'm here, teacher. Good. Uh, Merlin is not there. Miguel Angel is not there. Rolando? I'm here. Ruth? I'm here. Janari? Uh, Jacqueline? I'm here. Blanca and Freddy's. I'm here. What's the word? Uh, sleeping? Yeah, it's sleeping. Mm. I think they it took me out of the game because I didn't participate in the previous one. <laughs> it kicked me out. So English 4 is using a word. Another 3 is using a word. Okay, so this is the last one. Who's gonna draw? Okay, wait a second. Oh, we're done. Oh my God, I win, I win, I win. <laughs> 
So the in English uh, is English the winner. Blue. And that would be, uh, wait, smiley big girl. I win, I win. You won, you won, that's right. Wait, English Sue is drawing. Okay, what's that? Is that coffee? A coffee bean? See? Wait, no, that's hair. No. That's... Aguacate. That's an avocado. Okay, no. Avocado? No, avocado. it's not an avocado. Watermelon. Um, watermelon. What? My God. Is that a? Is that a? I don't know. Too uh, bad. I don't know how to draw this. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's a fruit. No, it's not a fruit. It's a person? No. It's a place? Church. It's something that we have to take when we are sick. Medicine? Medicine. Yes. It's a pill. I don't know how to draw. It's a pill. Okay. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Was drawing medicine. Okay. So it's not, it wasn't too it wasn't too easy. It wasn't easy. Okay, guys, so uh, Mariela, what are you gonna draw? <laughs> okay, wait a second. What's that? Uh, oh my God. Is that a mirror? No, it, it's not. Racket. The microphone? No. Ah, uh, racket. But it's ping pong. Yes, racket. That's a nice drawing. Tennis? Tennis. Wow. Yes. I tennis. think it was our wait. Tennis? Oh. Wow, that's a mm. good drawing, Ariela. Squash. No, that was tennis. Okay. Tennis with double squash. <laughs> Squash. Squash. Okay, so I have to say goodbye. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm sorry. Bye -bye. So bye bye. This was really fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can close that. Uh, you can play it later if you want. You can do it with your friends, right? <laughs> Just share the link and that's it. Okay. Now. That was now. too fun. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad that you liked it. Uh, <laughs> that the, the that's thing. the best part. Okay, <laughs> that's the best part of the game. So let's go on. Uh, so we already had that uh, for the session 15. We're basically making a review of what we have been studying, right? Uh, we already, well, building vocabularies. I'm, I'm going to go straight to this. Uh, Using the dictionary, okay, right now you can use a dictionary, you're going to find the definition, definition, not translation, the meaning, right? <laughs> of five words, these five words in English, right? Dispenser, dirt, designated, sink, and thoroughly. Okay, listen to the pronunciation, right? Thoroughly, thought of, with the F in the middle, thought of. Thought yeah, thought of late. That's correct. Thought of late. So you have five minutes, five definitions. Go. I will give you one just in case you have internet problems. So six minutes. Uh, so look for the words individually. Okay. And uh, just in case you need a dictionary, I will share one recommendation through the chat. If I get the chance. Okay. We can choose just one. No. Nope. We have to choose the words 
Both you have to find the meaning. You have to, you have to find the meaning uh -huh, of the in five both. words in both what? dictionaries. I don't know. You those are references for you. Oh, just in case. Thank you. Just in case. Okay. Yeah. Just one definition. Okay. 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 This buzzer. Oh, I saw this word <laughs> in the platform. Mm hmm. We have to finish it until the second, until the middle test, right? Yeah, today it's the, yeah, it's the last one for the midterm. So uh, if you have to catch up and you cannot finish tonight, let's say, uh, maybe tomorrow morning is still a little bit of time for you to complete it. Okay, how about mm -hmm. to finish today? Yeah, the midterm. Estoy ocupado. Ahorita no. Not right now. Not right now. That's good. Wait. Okay, you have two more minutes.
teacher, how do you say se me durmió el pie? <laughs> my foot my foot's asleep. My my foot or my in my leg. I don't know which specific part of your Okay. I finished. You finished. Great. Okay, so just a couple of seconds and then we're going to share, yeah. right? If you if you don't have the five words, the five definitions, don't worry. You can listen to the rest of your classmates and copy as you are listening, or you can get them later, right? So the idea is that you get accustomed, right, to investigating the new vocabulary, that you look for the, the definitions, not just the translation and that you can continue doing that right uh, as frequently as possible because part of the of the learning or the speaking a language is vocabulary so the more vocabulary you have the more uh you can express your ideas right but sometimes we have the idea but we don't have the words so we are limited right and for that reason uh, we are afraid of speaking too much uh in different scenarios so uh, we're going to move on. And the first definition is dispenser. What, one volunteer for saying that, please? Raise your hand. Okay, Blanca first, and then we continue with Diana and Francisco. So we have dispenser. two volunteers. Mm -hmm. Okay, a container or device that gives out measured amounts of something. Okay, excellent. So I guess that uh, now with the hand sanitizer, right, and you see dispensers of uh, alcohol and hand sanitizer, right, that is in the gel uh, presentation, we know that dispensers are for that, right? It can be for different liquids or for food, uh, for candies. So we have dispenser for water, uh, water dispenser, we call them with that specific right? Okay, uh, how do you pronounce what, Freddy? Humus. Yeah, I was looking for the definition of dirt. Okay, what is that, first of all? <laughs> uh, uh, the definition says the part of the earth surface consisting of humus and disintegrated rock. So I was like, what? Is that right, humus? Do you or... know the word dirty? Yeah. What makes something be dirty? Everything, the dust. Dirt? Yeah, the dust too. I think so, I don't know if I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, the dirt. Hey. Humus, hey. that's the pronunciation, humus. humus. Humus, yeah. And it's with double M, humus. I'm gonna look for the definition. One, mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go with the definition number two. Thank you, Blanca, for number one. Number two is uh, Diana. Number three, definition number three is Francisco. Okay, dirt, a substance that makes something not clean. A substance that makes something not clean. Okay, that's one definition. Do we have another one? Sure. Uh -huh. I found the definition is is it's like that how I wrote it with one M. It says one M. Yeah, it's, it means this the decompose organic matter. Mm, okay, okay. Interesting. So dirt. Uh, yeah, when something that makes some something else not be or not look clean that that would be one right dirt uh they also refer to the 
for example, when they're constructing something, they're building something, they, they use dirt, right, for the foundation, and they mix yeah. it with concrete. So yeah, dirt has different definitions. And uh, number three, what do you have for designated, uh, Francisco? Uh, number three, the same. Designated, uh-huh. Designated a, a, a particular a person to designate for a, <clears throat> a particular rule. Mm -hmm. Okay. For a particular role, right? Yes. So, for example, we have designated driver that when you go to a party, you know that there is one person that is going to drive when you finish the party because you are not going to be in conditions to drive if you drank a lot, for example. Yes. No, uh, beer. <laughs> uh -huh. So, the designated driver is the person responsible for driving the rest of the people, right? Uh, in, any, in any scenario. Now we continue uh, with, well, for example, every table uh, in some restaurants, some areas have designated waiters, right? And waitresses. So they have a specific area. Now we continue with number four, sink. What, who has a definition for that one? An, a new volunteer, please. Can I try? Sure. Like sink would be like uh, immersion, like take something and put it inside of a uh, fluid. Okay, so that would be the action, right? But the place, if, it, if we're talking about the object, the item, uh, root, you have a definition for that, right? I have a descent gradually to a lower level. Mm -hmm. But if we're talking about, for example, a restaurant, what is a sink? Where you wash your hands. Where you wash ah. your hands or where you wash the dishes. Right, that's a sink, that's correct. So, uh, lavabo, right? Uh, Lavamanos. Lava Lavamanos, right? So those are sinks. Okay, very good. Yeah, as the Titanic. As a noun, but as a verb. As a verb is to, yeah, to, to immerse into a liquid, right? Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, the Titanic sank, okay, many years ago. So, uh, yes. Mm-hmm, yeah, exactly. Undir. Mm -hmm. So the last one, number five, thoroughly. Who has that one? Yes. One volunteer for number five? Maritza? No. No? No, 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 tengo. Very carefully. Very carefully. Uh, very carefully. Okay, that's, that's one. Karen? Very carefully. I have the same one. Very carefully, okay. Mm -hmm. I have a different. Okay, tell us, please. In an exhaustive manner, completely and absolutely. In an exhaustive manner, right? So, for example, now with the COVID, uh, people have to wash the, the, the food thoughtfully. It's not like a little bit of water. Okay, now it's ready to eat. No. Wash it with soap, with bleach with alcohol, whatever, right? But you have to do it thoroughly, completely with a, with a lot of, with, with dedication, right? So thoroughly. So uh, it's not a medias, like we say in Spanish, right? Like, uh, so thoroughly can be, for example, when you wash your clothes, you take your time to, especially when it's white, right? Because you want to have it neat, right? Clean. So you wash thoroughly. Um, uh, so, or when you iron your clothes and you have a special event, you iron them thoroughly, not like, ah, just a little bit and that's it. Then you put it on after you take a shower. Now you do it with a lot of, uh, let's say effort, right? Or dedication. Now we're going to move on. And those are the five words. Now pronunciation. I'm going to say the words and you repeat them, right? Dispenser. That's the first one. Dispenser. 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 Dirt. 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 Very good. Dirt. Dirt. Designated. 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 Okay. Sink. 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 Okay. How? Sink. Don't get confused, right? When you say pensar, that's think with the feta, think. right? Think. Mm. I think, think that it's a good idea to pay attention to pronunciation. 
because the word sink is a different one. Okay, so sink. Uh, it's not sink, it's sink. Una y corta. Sink. 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 Okay, sink. 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 Yeah, correct. And the last sink. one is thoroughly. Awesome, awesome, very good. So we continue with the last slide. That is the exercise number five. Are procedure posters displaying some areas in your workplace? Yes or no? Yes, also. <laughs> Beatriz? Even, even the nurse. Here. Uh. Wait, I'm going to resume the sharing. Okay, so I forgot to do that. So, <laughs> are procedure posters displaying some areas in your workplace? Beatriz, yes, no? No, there, no. Are, there, uh, there, there, aren't. there aren't any, okay. Floor? There aren't any. No. No? Any. Uh -uh. Well, now with the COVID, probably you have some procedure, right? But that's another one. Uh, it's not for work. Uh, Karen? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? No. no. Okay, Rolando? Yes. In your uh, yes. Yes, but for 5S. 5S. Yeah, it's, it's a metal. Mm, okay, okay. So let's check. Mariela, in your workplace? No, just for COVID. No, just for COVID. Okay. Uh, Diana? No, I'm work from home, so I don't have. You don't have that, okay. Uh, Ready? Jackie? No, they aren't. No, Harbin? Harbin has been very quiet today. No, teacher. And no, we don't have that. You don't have that. Okay, Maritza, do you have posters, procedure posters in some areas where you work? Yes, they are. Yes, okay, nice. Ruth? Yes, uh, someone for instruction, instruction for be careful. Ah, have instructions to be careful. Okay, got it. Perfect. Yeah, it's the same thing in my work. So uh, in my workplace. So look at the checklist below, designed to verify the steps of a hand washing procedure. Pay attention, a hand washing procedure, the steps. Do you think the checklist is effective to evaluate the procedure? Yes, no, why? So uh, policy, what is a policy? Uh, I'm going to ask Floor, what, what is a policy? A policy, a... No, I, read the policy. A what? Read the policy that appears on the, on the example. <laughs> Teacher, sorry. Okay. Uh, policy, all chef and servers will follow proper hand washing procedures. That's right. So the policy has, I think that Flora was going to say, right? It's like a, like a rule, okay? That some companies have that everybody has to uh, fulfill. Everybody has to follow that rule, that policy, okay? Don't get confused with policy and policia, right? That's a, another word, that's police, okay? So uh, what are some of, what are the five uh, different uh, steps, okay? Uh, Maritza, can you please help me to read number one? Number two, Harvey. Number three, Jennifer. Number four, Janari. Number five, mm, I will ask. Mariela. Okay. Okay. Number one, um, watches hands using soap. Soup from soap. Soap. Yeah. soap from soap dispenser. Good. Number two. Number two, use brush to remove tear from under fingernails. Mm -hmm. La tierra, right? De las, de hojas, las uñas. Okay, good. La mugre. Three. La mugre. <laughs> <laughs> Between fingers and on hands, thoroughly. 
sort of play good. Number four. Yanari. She was having some connection problems, so maybe that's the reason why. So, uh, okay. A really bad internet. Yeah, I know. Number four, wash his hands. Mm, I don't know if you can help her, uh, Rolando. Mm -hmm. I wanna try this. Okay, go ahead, please. Wash his hands and things from production area. From the production area. Okay, and number five. Area. Dry hand with a mechanical uh -huh. hot dryer. With a mechanical hot dryer. Okay. So um, that's basically the the steps that they they have in this, let's say in this place for hand washing. So what is the question? Do you think that checklist is effective to evaluate that procedure? Yes, no. And why? So you can take a screenshot because I'm going to send you to the breakout room, okay? Uh, to do two things, okay? Pay attention, pay a lot of attention. So number one, you are going to discuss the question, right? If you think that it, the checklist in this case is effective to evaluate the hand washing procedure. Yes, no, why? And exercise number six, you will do that. This is a reference, you are going to create one um, checklist to evaluate a process that you follow at your workplace, okay? So you can create one together. Imagine that you work in the same place. So you can create just one uh, checklist about one procedure, one specific procedure, okay, at the company. So ready, set, and go. You have exactly six minutes. Well, that would be 10 minutes because you need to create the checklist, 10 minutes. Okay, Blanca, I'm going to assign you to the breakout room number you Leave me alone two. again. <laughs> I think you didn't get the invitation, but now you have it there. Need to need to know who to who is the the correct uh, functionally functionally teacher. How do you say fun, funcionamiento correcto? Functioning the correct functioning. The correct the correct functioning. Mm -hmm. For example, if if. The, this person is a, a new employment. I need this person need to know uh, the, the functional to the machine and to prevent uh, uh, whatever accident. Uh, for this reason, uh, we have to poster in different areas in my workplace. Okay. Um, do you think the checklist is effective to evaluate the procedure? Yes. Yes, I think that that yes. 
Why? <laughs> yeah, why? And then you have to create your own uh, checklist yes. uh, for a procedure at, at, at your workplace. Uh -huh. uh, I think that is or all day should uh, clean the restaurant because of COVID. What will be the procedures to follow at the entry for the customer or something like that? What do you propose? So what? So we're gonna talk about cleaning the restaurant or cleaning the place where they're working at, like like the kitchen, the sink, the dishes. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. You have to choose any process and then we will make a checklist. So what do you think? Uh, what do you, are you agree with that at least for sanitizing before enter to the restaurant? Yeah, that's good. Okay. The first one would say. Love according with the color. Maybe. Okay. Uh -huh, yeah. Like a recycling, for example, you had a box. Mm -hmm. for cans you mm -hmm. had a a box for another thing and something mm -hmm. like that it can be it can, it, it can be a, a the first step this okay. distributing the cloth according or with the color separate the colors uh -huh. okay yeah. okay Okay, number two, um, have the weight, the correct weight, right, of the cloth. Excuse me? Have the correct correct weight of the cloth. If, if you want to prevent, everything has to be changed, like, like with sensor or, or things Yes, with sensor, like the thing that you just put your hands. An automatic, yes. Yes. an automatic things. Uh -huh. Yes, uh -huh. this is I, I will tell you because I went to the store and I see the old place are like that using the, the automatic things. Yes, with the soap, with the water, with the 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 thing, the machine that you dry your hands and everything has to be like that. But just we'll the never... dispenser for, for paper is not automatic. <laughs> you have always have to use your arm. Yes, yes. Or or change to that machine that we are talking that you just put your hands down and and they the the air comes out. Like the mm -hmm. old machine. That's a hand dryer, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, you have to create your manual now. Your, okay. your, I mean, your, your checklist. Okay. 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 I'm going to send somebody here so they can she can practice with you. Teacher, the 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 the, the checklist is for everything that we want. I mean, it's for your workplace, right? But for one procedure in your workplace, but as you work in different places, maybe you can agree like, okay, let's imagine that we work, we both work at Escamilla, right? And we're going to make a checklist. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, so, for example, we can turn off the machine. Turn okay. off the machine. Turn on. Turn on. Turn on. Ah, it's, it's to purify, right? Yeah, yeah. This okay, is the objective: okay. purify the, the water. 
to turn on the machine. Okay, next. Next. Uh, in, in, in this moment, the machine is working, okay? Uh, next thing will be um, the software teacher. One question. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the name for Suavizante, the one that you use to wash the clothes in the washing machine? Yeah, soft, softener is, is, is one option. Softener, okay. Yeah. So, um, pour the softener in the container maybe because the container already have the amount that they have to have. Has, has the measure, the container. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Pour the amount of softener. Pour the amount uh, the of softener. To be uh -huh. specific, you 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 say cloth uh cloth softener, right? Aha, uh -huh. okay. Mm -hmm. For the amount of cloth of softener. Softener, that's right. Softener. The uh, always according to the pound. According yes. to the pounds. You according to pan that you had into the washing machine. Mm -hmm. Okay. And number five. That's it, I think. Use um uh, let me see what is the name. <laughs> How do you say uh, secadora? Um, dryer dryer. dryer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, after the clothes. washed and animals or, or plants <laughs> Hi, it's related hello with we finished the exercise we were talking about the dictionary uh -huh. that what was were you a... saying about it and that we enjoy it more than trivia because we are bad at science and social studies and <laughs> mathematics. <laughs> <laughs> and Pictionary was really fun and easy. <laughs> true, true, true. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, there are more things that, that we will be doing, but yeah, I thought that that would be fun to finish this week. <laughs> okay, thank you, teacher, for being creative. Uh, you're welcome. So, uh, what is the, the the checklist that you that you created about? Mm -hmm. Can you read it, Karen? We have um, a wash your hands using soap mm -hmm. from a soap dispenser. Mm -hmm. uh, the second one uh, uses uh, soap between fingers and hands thoroughly. Uh, wash his hands in sinks from production area if it's necessary mm -hmm. and dry hands with a towel paper. Uh, okay, so it will be paper towel, I think. It's not towel paper, paper towel. Okay, hold on, I don't remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> towel paper. Hmm. That would be like literal translation, right? No, towel paper, paper uh, tower. No, I think it's towel paper. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I so think it's, it's, towel it's, paper. A, it's similar to the to the example that you have, right? About washing yeah, hands. Okay. We just omit but, uh, the second one. That that's, is uh, uses a brush, a brush a to brush, remove uh, because mm -hmm. nobody are carrying a brush, so it's. That's cleaning. it's not practical. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. True. Mm -hmm. You use the, the, the brush, but 
toothbrush. <laughs> but we don't use it for fingernails. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, that's a good point. Now I think uh, it's about time for it, the rest of your classmates to get back to the to the room. So let me check. See you in a moment. Okay. okay. See you. Um, okay, all right. So almost everybody's back. So uh, what we're going to do based on the, on the time that we have available right now is just to listen to two groups, okay? So two pairs. Uh, so who would like to share their, let's say the steps to follow a procedure, the checklist? If you didn't finish it, you can do it later, that's not a problem, right? But the most important is you have an idea, yeah, you started working on it, right? And later you can finish it individually or together with your partner. So Flora is the first volunteer, thank you so much. And Francisco too, okay. So we have the two volunteers now, uh-huh. Okay, the, we, we work with, with Harbin and we decide that the first step is that you have to check your own temperature. Okay, but what is the what is the procedure that you are uh, evaluating? When you get in your office. Ah, when you enter when you enter the the office. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so number one is that you have to check your own temperature. Then you have to use alcohol health. Then you have to disinfect. Uh -huh. Hand sanitizer. Mm -hmm. How? Hand sanitizer. Hand okay. sanitizer. Okay, hand sanitizer. Then you have to disinfecting your shoes. And you have to clean and sanitizing your area. Okay. You can start working. Good, very good. Class for them, please, for Flora and Harvin. They were the first volunteers. We haven't used reactions too much today. That's not good. Okay, so, but you have been laughing. So that's that's a reaction too. Now we continue with, or smiling, right? With the second volunteer that was Francisco. What is a procedure that you are uh, making the checklist for? And what are the steps that you decided? Okay, I tried uh, Ana Mariela and I. We mm -hmm. talked about the procedures for the prevent the COVID, for example, mm -hmm. um, the recommendation or checklist is similar to the uh, the one uh, that that Flor shared. Yes, cor correct. Do you have uh, a different a different step maybe that she didn't mention? Some so so uh. For example, uh, we talk about for sanitizing the shoes, mm, okay. uh, use alcohol health, uh, check the temperature, uh, use a uh, mask all time. Um, the first recommend is to, to have the distance Social distancing. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so that's a physical distance that you need to keep. Okay, guys, so we're missing five minutes. I'm going to take the attendance. Uh, I wanted to tell you that I shared with you a little, um, well, a link of a song, well, to a song that you can listen later. You can listen to later. Uh, it's one of my favorites and I like to share it. Um, uh, from time to time. So uh, I hope that you like it. You can listen to that later on. Okay, so let me I check. love it. I love that song. I love Bruno Mars. Really, really. Okay, okay. So I can I, I cannot play because of obviously right copyright stuff. So I reasons so I cannot be doing that, but I can share the link with you so you can listen to that later. Uh, okay, so Freddy's is here and Blanca? Yeah, I'm here. I'm listening to the song. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, Jackie? You can't Jackie? 
I'm here, teacher. I'm okay. here. Perfect. So the next one is uh, Janari. Ruth. I'm here, teacher. Nice, Rolando. I'm here. Excellent, Maritza. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Karen. Karen. Juan Jose. Jennifer. Harvin. Present. I'm here, teacher. Okay. I'm here, West Freeze. He got frozen. Okay, no problem. Uh, Harvin, uh, Laura, Francisco, Floor, Francisco, Floor, are you there? I'm here, teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm here, teacher. Sorry. Okay, okay. So you were listening to the song too. Let's continue <laughs> with Diana. Present. Okay, uh, Carla, Brenda, I'm here, Mariela, and Beatriz. Present. I'm here. Excellent. So, uh, yesterday I stayed well with one of you for the last 10 minutes. Uh, I was with Miguel. So, um, Lima, Lisa, Marvin. Okay, they are not here. So we're going to move on with. Well, let me check. Carla, are you there? Yes, no. So the next one would be Francisco. Yes, present teacher. Okay, can you stay for the last 10 minutes, please? Yes, no problem. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So, guys, uh, we're going to... Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're hungry, that's right. So, we're going to turn on the cameras for the final picture of the week three. We did it. So, let's take the groupie and say goodbye. Hey, nice to see you, Janari. Okay. <laughs> Smiley D girl, that's good. Okay, one, two, and three. <laughs> we did it. I will use it. No, doesn't work. Better. Good. Uh, we just missed Mariela. Mariela, are you there? Yes, sorry. Oh wait! So we're gonna take the take the other picture because Mariela ha didn't have the camera on. So um, I will take another one. So one, two. Now Diana is appeared. Wait, Diana, Yanari, please. <laughs> Yanari, turn it on. So just for one second. Yanari, please. There you go. Okay, perfect. One, two, three. Say cheese. Yeah. Hey, say hungry. Okay. Hungry. <laughs> okay. So guys, take care of yourself. Have a nice uh, weekend. Enjoy weekend. it. Yeah, we, you did it. So congratulations. A pat on the back Have for, a nice for weekend. yourself. Weekend. Blessings, and Good I will night. see you on Monday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye. Thank you. All right. Okay. All class, class go to the um, borrow, and they say, come on. <laughs> they went to bed. Bed, yes. Yeah, they were in a rush, probably. Yes.
Okay, so let me check. They already shared the link through the chat. Okay, so uh, tell me, Francisco, how have you been? Uh, um, if, is there any topic that has been a little bit confusing or a little bit difficult for you? Or is uh, there something in particular that you would like me to help you with about the language? Uh, some words is too difficult, difficult too for me to the pronunciation. For the pronunciation. Uh, uh -huh. Yes, but the concept I I un you understand. Uh, you understand, okay. Yes. Uh, however, um, I know that I need to improve the the my pronunciation. The 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 words because uh, I know that I have this a big problem if I don't know do the pronunciation correct uh, it's a it's a big problem but uh, I try to improve the the, the, the mejorar. Yeah, improve. That's a that's a word. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You try yes. to improve. Yes, the for the uh, about the, the the class is very good. Um, I like the the old topic with with talk. Uh, respect. Okay. Um, yes. That's good. Uh huh. Mm. I know. I know what, what to say. <laughs> so, um, about pronunciation, uh, one of the things that you have to do a lot is to listen listen to people speaking english using the language because in that way uh, consciously or unconsciously you are going to start remembering the way that they pronounce the words so yes. um you're going to identify the sounds you're going to memorize right the the, the way that people use the language so yeah. it's going to be it's going to be easier for you to improve, yeah. okay. Yeah. And uh, the other thing is that I think that you could also practice a, or focus on specific vocabulary. For example, in the classes, when you write down the words that are are difficult for you or are new for you, investigate the pronunciation and practice repeating the words over and over, right? So that you can remember the way that they are pronounced. Okay. So repetition, repetitions are important, okay? Um, I think that you have to continue doing that. And... Um, yes, yeah, some words I learned to listen in, uh, uh, for example, some conversation in YouTube, for example, uh -huh. uh, one that wants is a name that, that gives uh, is to share the, some videos in YouTube, the, some to conversation. And um, when I have a uh, free time, uh, mm -hmm. I try to, to listen to it and, and put a, attention for, for, for some. You pay attention. Pay attention uh -huh. to pay to, attention. Uh -huh. Pay attention. Um, okay. is is a uh, um uh, for decir así de una forma de mm -hmm. um to practice. But uh, I would like to to learn a uh, a perfectly English. But I know this a uh, a good um, a good opportunity for increase in in my job. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, is that's a, true. Yes, it's a, a one reason for I would like to learn English. Well, you can do it, of course. You can do that. Um, it's but you need to find the, the the way to do it, right? You need to find what is uh what is productive for you, what is something that can benefit you. So um Okay, I'm going to share with you one link so that you can um, probably pay attention to the way that people are using the, the language. Okay. Okay, wait a second. So, uh, as I was telling you, right, being exposed to listening to the language, for example, through podcasts, uh -huh, okay. through podcasts, because uh, that is like listening to the radio or listening to a conversation of people between people, right? Two people or sometimes three people talking about different topics on an everyday conversation, right? So, um, And the other thing is that I, what I used to do, what I used to do uh, was to try to imitate. When I was listening to someone, I was trying to imitate the way that they, they said the things or trying to repeat the same thing, right? Um, I will, okay, let me check where is the chat here. So I will share the link with you so you can save it. Uh, Okay, so uh, there are many videos on, online, many things online, many resources. Uh, I think I told you about Uglish, right? The, the, the website where you can check the pronunciation of the words. Mm -hmm. So in that one, uh, you have the chance to, for example, type one word and then um, you, play right you play the, the the word and you start watching a lot of people pronouncing the same word so it's really really good uh i strongly recommend it uh, let me share it with you okay so for example here i'm going to share the screen with the sound and let's suppose we're looking for US, okay? US oh, pronunciation, yeah. US pronunciation. And you're looking for the word uh, estrategic. That is one of the words that we saw today, right? Yeah. And you are like, how can I pronounce this? Estrategic? And I don't know. So you click say it. Okay. And you see, 18,000. I don't think we have a clear sense of what is the sort of 340 different videos or moments okay. Okay. Where, where people pronounce the word. Oh, Only that word. Yes. So, strategic goal of that engagement. Well, uh, six to eight years. So, in the Middle East, where we're still very much. You see it? The subtitles. Despite, you know, the. Mm -hmm. Yes. Iraq, uh, the Clinton administration had a policy yeah. they called dual containment right. of Iraq and Iran. Uh, the Bush administration had an idea about preventative war. Into play, we we're going to. And then you click the on the Israeli peace talks here. Um, so uh, there See? were all kinds of theories. Yeah. Uh, and then the Arab you Spring click happened. Next, has played an important role in the development of our strategic plan, and in our. In order to extract the kind of strategic value that. So, so in all the videos original constitution and even these have been broken up and placed at strategic points within in different videos how people pronounce different people pronounce the same word okay. and you have the possibility of watching the complete video if you want 
So yeah. you can you can learn about different topics. You have the subtitles. You can change the. You can go back. You can go forth. The speed. Okay. If you want to increase or decrease the speed, you can do it. So it's faster. It's slower. Uh, what else? There are. I mean, uh, many resources, right? Many resources okay. that you can definition, right? Okay. If you click on the word, you will get the definition. Ooh. So synonyms, synonyms, phonetics, right? The, in the symbols and the dictionary, how it's pronounced. Uh, words that are similar, for example, a strategical, a strategically, a stra a strategy, a stratagem, a strategy, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's really good to practice pronunciation, to improve pronunciation. So uh, dedicate, dedicate maybe 10 minutes, Maybe you can study five words, the pronunciation of five or 10 words every day, just the pronunciation, right? Because okay. that's what you want to improve. And in the class, pay attention, right? In the book, pay attention to all the new words that you discover and repeat them, okay? Repeat them the way they are pronounced. Yes, uh, um, the, the true, uh, I need to, to say, teacher, that is uh, my first time that I participate in in this in this place class. Um, yes. um is is a uh, experience very 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 good. Um, uh, in the past, I I have the the idea that he is. This class is a uh, different uh, for the method. However, it's, it's very, very good. Okay, I, I'm glad to I know like that. It. Thumbs up. Very good. Thank yes. you so much, Francisco. I'll, I hope that it was, it was something useful for you. And I will see you on Monday. Okay. Yeah, willing. Okay. 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 So take care of yourself. Have a good night. And... Have a great weekend. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, and Take care. Okay. Take care. Bye. Teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night.